How's it going everybody? My name is Ten and welcome back to the Red Strings Club. We're down to the wire. We're in Supercontinent's main offices where all the executives hang out, having to work with a landline telephone. Who'd have thought that those still existed? Anyway, buckle up, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get back into it. So this is a landline telephone. You sneaked into Ferguson's office? Yep, I'm in. Not a single alarm triggered. Nice. I see you found the landline Johannes told us about. You need me to run you through its mechanism? Sure, provided that it doesn't make you feel too ancient. Shut up and listen. <laughs> okay, I'll get comfortable. Am I holding it right? Look, it's not that different from a regular phone. You should have a numeric pad where the phone is connected. That's it? So you just click on it and input a sequence of nine numbers, then wait for it to perform the call. You can also use the numpad or number keys on your keyboard as a shortcut. That's for me. That's a message for me. I know that. <clears throat> cool. You should have Johanna's phone address in your neural drive in case you want to give it a try. Sure. I'll have a look around too in case I see some useful info to start digging towards the MNA. I'll set my drive to in detective mode so it'll automatically be picking up facts and important data. I've also loaded Johanna's voice in it along with the voice of Carver prepared for me. That should be that. That should me more be more than enough to get me started. Wish me luck. Luck wished. Okay. So let's try this out. So it's five 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 one zero eight four four four. Five 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 one zero eight four four four. I better switch to my regular voice with Johanna. Hey, Johanna, it's Brandy's. What do you need? I'm inside Fergus's office. What now? Okay, the the M and A and many other and many and many other important systems are controlled through the landline. But it'd be a good idea to start scouting Ferguson's computer first to gather as much intel as you can. Uh, the thing is, this guy doesn't own a computer. What? That's impossible. I'm 100% sure Ferguson has a computer in his office. It must be hidden somewhere in the room. The guy is a feng shui fanboy. I'm sure he's got it inside the desk or something. Inspect the room closely. I'm sure there's a mechanism to draw the, to draw the computer out. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Okay. A note. Since you complained about the computer running, ruining your feng shui, I had it installed in a hidden compartment. To use it, activate it from your phone. It's all sevens to hit the jackpot. We'll see. We'll set it back uh, how you want. We'll set it how you want it when you're back, Francis. Okay. You gotta love them post. It's leaking corporate info since 1980. Okay, so it's seven seven sevens. It's so cool getting to use my number pad for this. This is sick. Accessing office computer jackpot. Ooh, it came out the floor and everything. Look at that. Imagine that as your setup, just in the floor. I'd be paranoid. I got a I got like a glass panel. On the side of my uh, my PC, I ain't trying to I ain't trying to see that accidentally get broken because I'm an idiot. Okay, show me your secrets. Of course, it needs a password. Can't you crack it? Let me try. <laughs> I love money. Um, yeah, let's go basic. Nope. Nah, this computer's a beast. It'd be easier to torture the password out of the owner. Okay, should I call a torture? I wish that was a joke. Don't call anyone. I'll try to figure out the password myself. This would be a great time to take advantage of the rogue implants a car installed in Ferguson. I need to find a way of contacting him. Okay. So, I do not necessarily know where Ferguson is. Or why my mouse decided to stop working. Oh, there it is. Okay. The flowers are synthetic, but they feel like the real thing, but last for months. It has a card in it. Glad to have you back, Adrian. Call me and I'll put you up to speed. Karen from HR 555-025-272. Getting ahead of, a bit ahead of themselves, huh? 555-025-272. Hello, this is Karen from HR. How can I help you? Hi, this is Lucas... Leipzig. I'm sorry, Mr. Leipzig, but this line is exclusively for employees. I'm an employee. No Lucas Leipzig works here. I'm sorry. Do you know every single employee in this company? What are you, a robot? 
I'm afraid I'm going to have to alert security. How did you gain access to this network, steer? Forget it. You can't mess with Karen from HR, huh? Okay, so... Let's put on the Diana Mays... Uh, voice. We'll try again. 555-025-217. Five, 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 oh, two, five, two, <clears throat> Hello, this is Karen from HR. How can I help you? Hello, Karen. This is... Diana, how are you? Your contract with us is almost over, right? Such a shame. But don't worry, a girl as talented as you. It won't be long before we call you in for another project. I... I heard you tried your SPW project on yourself, right? Did it help you with your chronic depression? Who is this Karen? How the hell does she know about SPW and Diana's, clo Diana's depression? Are they close? Yeah, I feel super good. Thank you. Listen, Karen. I need to contact Adrian Ferguson. He's not in his office and an urgent matter has come up. Uh, Adrian hasn't been really feeling well that hasn't been feeling well these days, so he's resting at his villa by the harbor. Fortunately he had an emergency line installed in his home. Take note. 555-693-030. Gotcha, thank you. Tell him we're praying for his recovery at HR. Sure, bye. Sick. Now we can actually... Okay. Uh, I need to stay as Diana. Or maybe I should switch over to uh, Johanna. There we go. We'll switch over to Johanna. I didn't know I could do that from here. That's sick. Wait, I also have... Do I have Adrian's voice? I don't have yet. Okay. Do not have uh, Adrian's voice yet. So let's um, call Adrian as Johanna. Okay. So 555-693-030. Five 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 six nine three oh three oh. Let's do it. Hello, Adrian. It's Johanna. We need to talk. Go fuck yourself. Hmm. Seems like the punk implant was super effective on Ferguson, huh? Okay. So not Johanna. Let's call him as Diana. Five 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 six nine three oh three oh. Hello. Good evening, this is Diana Mays. Go fuck yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so the only other person is uh, me. Uh, okay. Uh, I could also do Karen from HR, but the only issue that I have with that is the punk implant immediately makes him like really adverse to anybody from like a company, and she's unfortunately a part of the company, so. We'll do me. We'll do old, old, good old Brandis. Good old Brandis. Okay. High five. Uh, 693030. I'm gonna be real good at typing on this number pad without looking by the end of this episode. What? Adrian Ferguson? Who's this? You can go to hell. Relax, I'm not one of your lackeys. My name is Brandis. I'm a freelance hacker trying to bring SPW and the MA down. And you're contacting me through our landline network? That's bold, kid. I like you. I called you hoping you'd be willing to help me bring Supercontinent down. You bet I am. But how the, how'd you know about my new perspective? My associate is the best information broker you can find in this town. CFO switching sides is, is too big an opportunity to pass up, don't you think? <laughs> bold, bold. I like it. How can I help you? I'm in your office right now. I need the password to access your computer. You don't play games, huh? The password is merge the world 4891. Gotcha, thank you. Need to find out the password. Merge the world. What the hell? The password doesn't work? I hope Ferguson's not trying to trick me. Okay, so now that we have Adrian's voice, we do not have Adrian's voice. God dang it. Okay. Hmm. Right. Okay, there we go. Huh. Is there anywhere else that I can click? Oh, that's just connects to it. Maybe I love money? No. Okay. Some documents. They look like meeting schedules. Uh, Gene Psyche plan discussion, July 5th, 1030 at the office, 62, COO. Empowering middle managers, July 6th, 11 o'clock, office 12. Merger with uh, ECUC. <laughs> the ECUK, um, July 6th, 1730. That's... I want to say that's like 5 o'clock. 
maybe. Next steps. July 7th, 2350. Wow. At like 11, at like 11.50 at night? Almost midnight? Jeez. That's it for this week. Shit, this is natural bone. It has something carved on it. Dulce Bellum in expertise. War is sweet to those who have never experienced it. This guy's a total loony. Okay. Hey Donovan, I need your help. Sure, what's up? Uh, nothing, sorry. Dang it. Okay. Um. Dang it. Uh. I wish I had the fucking voice file for him. I may need to look this up. I'll try one more thing. I'm gonna try to call H R. Um. Dang it, man. This is difficult. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to call HR and see if I can't get, uh, with Johanna's voice, and see if I can't get, uh, into, uh, Adrian's computer that way. Okay. Caring from HR, how can I help you? This is, good evening, Johanna, glad to hear you're back. They had us all worried sick. I'm sure you would only need, uh, a couple days to get rid of that anxiety of yours. How can I help you? On uh, second thought, nothing. Damn. Okay. I will be right back. I'm going to look this up because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I need to call him back as my voice. Call Adrian back, that is. 555 693 030. Hello? Hey, this is Brandis. The password you gave me didn't work. Those assholes already changed it, huh? I spent one day away from the office and they're already shutting me down. Sorry, kid, I can't, I'm afraid I can't help you. I don't know if this is too much to ask, but if you send me your medical ID, I could recreate your voice with my faux mod and try to trick some people in the company into, into thinking I'm you. We'd still have a shot at it, a shot at him with it. Boldest kid in town. All right, I don't care for the fucking system anymore, so take whatever you need. My medical ID is all of that. Thank you. Now I just need to pass the ID to Donovan and see if he can get a car to get Ferguson's bio profile. Listen, I gave you pretty much all I can. I don't want to be involved in these games anymore, so I'm going to take a long walk along the beach. Sure, you were very helpful. I'll send you a bottle of champagne when we win. Go for the jug jugular. Hey Donovan, I need your help. Ferguson gave me his medical ID. Can you give me his voice? It's all of that. Attaboy. A car is on it. Got it. <clears throat> a car is transmitting, transmitting Ferguson's profile to your neural drive as we speak. Oh yeah, I just received it. You're the best. Thank you, team. Now go get him. Go get him. Okay, so now, as Adrian, we're going to call HR and see if we can't reset our password. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello, this is Karen from HR. How can I help you? Hello, Karen. Hello, Adrian. I thought you were re resting up at your at, at you villa. <laughs> how, how are you? Fine, thanks. You could keep resting if you want. Don't worry about tonight's plans. Radica has got everything under control. I'm feeling a bit better, and I want to see. I don't want to be here to support the company at this crit critical moment. That's so brave of you, Adrian. Listen, someone changed my password, and I need to access my computer. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm afraid I can't help you. You should call Francis about that. Would you please remind me what his number is? Sure, let me check. Mm, here. CTO Francis Coconut. Coconut, jeez. 555-464-032. Okay. Got it. Thank you so much, Karen. You're welcome. Okay, so now we're going to need to call... Um... <clears throat> Francis Coconut, and he is 555-464-032. We're still Adrian, uh, using Adrian's uh, voice to do CTO's office. What's wrong? Good evening, Francis. Hey, Adrian, why are you calling? I thought you were taking some days off. That's right. I was feeling a bit off with the pressure and all, but hell, I want to be here. Well spoken, friend. Tonight we shape history. Is there something I can do for you? Can't access my computer. Oh, that. I'm sorry, buddy. Since you were ta taking an indeterminate number of days off work, I figured I should change your password. Just to be safe, we've got some critical days ahead, you know? I understand. Good call, Francis. What's the new password, then? I didn't want to tarnish your style, so I made it a small homage to your idol, a bit as a, a, bit, as a bit of a welcome back present. <laughs> the password is Fork Parker Best CFO. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, I've got some other stuff I need to deal with tonight. Thank you, man. Give me a call if you need anything else. Sure, bye. So let's get into this PC. Oh yeah, I'm in. Shit, there are hundreds of employee registries here. I'm gonna filter for the ones that seem familiar. All right, what do we have here? Except for Francis and Edgar, it looks like I have clearance to access most employee profiles. Let's dig in. Which folder should I access? Okay, so... It would make no sense to access Karen from HR, um, even though Karen probably has a lot of information about everything on her computer. Larissa is only the marketing director. She's only going to be given uh, certain details to market to the, the uh, <coughs> uh, public. Nai Makase is the lawyer. Um, she probably would know a lot just to try to navigate the legality of a lot of things, like having a 15-year-old as your CEO. Diana Mays, consultant engineer. Let's check hers. Okay, I'm in Diana's account. Gonna run my data skimming scripts to see what we've got here. Diana Mays, 31, consultant engineer, active project, social psyche welfare. Oh, here's her landline phone address. Perfect. Well, she had her implants done at Supercontinent's clinic so we can access her medical data. Shame last night I told a car to recreate Diana's voice. We could have gotten it from this. Well, whatever. Let's keep digging. Wait, what's this? A hidden file called failsafe.nfo? Holy shit, looks like some sort of trump card Diana held on to get, to get back at Supercontinent in case events turned against her. It points to a corrupted version of SPW that could fry the whole system. This is it, Donovan. This is what we needed. Yes! Bless you, Diana. Okay, execute it, or whatever you cool hackers do. It's not that easy. The corrupted version was committed to the project's main repository, whose administrator is Edgar. To get the fireworks started, I'll need to access Edgar's profile to roll the pro repository back to the corrupted version. <sighs> It's never that simple with you nerdy spies. Don't worry, we still got this. If we can access Edgar's account, this evil machine is done. Now, which folder should I access? Okay. We might be able to get um, Edgar's... Um... Okay, so let's strategize. As Diana, we'll call... We'll, we'll see if we can't get the information for Edgar, like his phone number from the Karen from HR profile. And if we can, <clears throat> then we'll be able to call Edgar. I want to do it as Naima. No, not Naima. Um, uh, Diana. And let him know, okay, there's a couple of tweaks that I want to make to the program before we go live with it. And hopefully these are all, this is all possible. This is how I'm, how my brain's going. Nice, I'm in. Going to run my data skimming scripts. Do it. Let's do it. She's 24 years old and her name is Karen from HR. From HR? Is that German? <laughs> no, silly. She's written in as literally first name Karen, last name, from HR. <laughs> Sorry. This is very weird. She has a pretty normal profile. There's an average amount of common info here. So very normal it feels strange. Almost forged? I mean, who's that uninteresting? It's like her whole profile is packed with inoffensive signs. Uh, I think you're probably overthinking it. Focus on our mission. Okay, but this is super weird, trust me. I trust you, but who knows what level of secrets a corporation like this could be hiding. We have more pressing matters to attend to. Alright, alright. Which folder should I access? Um, shit. I don't have security clearance for this one. It's password protected. 
to regain access to your account, input your security code on the phone linked to this computer. And here we are. The security question is, number one, number of existing Akaras plus Larissa's former name. Oh. We never got that. <laughs> I think the number of Akaras is 184. And then former name. Apparently so. Do you know anything about Larissa changing her name? Nope, this is news to me. Okay, this looks like I could... Th this looks like info I can fish up by calling around. Here we go. Now. Okay, so we can <coughs> access Larissa's computer, see if there's any information pertaining to her name change. Larissa Robili <coughs> Robillard, uh, 29. Cool, her landline number is here too. 555-991-554. For the rest, there's a massive amount of sketches, concept art, brainstorming logs. The only mildly interesting thing is that she started to consider some ideas regarding the presentation of the new CEO. Look at <clears throat> Looking into how to properly communicate with her new, their new philosophy while spinning the situation in Supercontinent's favor. Though by her notes, it seems Larissa is struggling to picture her new boss's personality or image. Maybe I could use that. Nothing else? Nope, pretty much above board. This is this girl. Which folder should I access? Yeah, let's, let's get into all of it. Let's go ahead and get as much information as we possibly can. We'll get into the lawyer's uh, computer. Naimakase, 34, got her landline number. Five 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 zero six eight one five eight. Uh, shit, this girl is super boring. Plus, she has a ridiculous number of individually pra password protected files. I don't blame her. Knowing her bosses have access to the files of employees below them. Nothing, mu nothing of much interest here. Also, it's, it, it doesn't. It seems she didn't have her implants done in Supercontinence Clinic, so no medical data either. Maybe if you find out what clinic she went to, a car can look for her medical ID. Okay, I'll ask around and see if I find anything on that, now that we have her number. Cool. Okay, then. Okay. Let's actually get into Adrian's uh, stuff. See, because we're already on his computer, we might as well get all of the information we can off of it. Adrian Ferguson, 47. He's on medical leave, of course. He's a pretty dull guy. Money, money. Mer money, money, mergers, growth, many pie and bar charts. Oh, some interesting emails about how he's worried about the new, worried the new CEO may affect stakeholders' trust in Supercontinent. The, conver the conversation ends with, we should discuss this in person, though. Oh, there's a big amount that here dedicated to charity and the city. Looks like this company's actually trying to act on their social promises. Ferguson doesn't seem to be very in the loop of SPW and MNA beyond financing it. Oh, a car is a surprisingly cheap project to maintain. Shit, it's actually producing benefits even now when it's only being used internally. Kudos to our skinny friend. Beyond that, I can't find anything of much interest. That's alright, maybe we can use that bit of trouble about the stakeholders not trusting the, the new CEO. True, I'll keep it in mind. Now. Okay, so these two are protected. We'll leave the computer. <clears throat> and we'll start calling some folks, because now we got quite the name, quite the list. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. let's see who would he who would she because I'm trying to see if I can't maybe get a Larissa's original name because I'm pretty sure the number of Akaras is 184 but then we also need Larissa's um, original name so we need to call her but I think I'll do it I think I'll do it as Diana just to be safe so 555 991 hi there <clears throat> Larissa Right now I'm not at the office, so I'm probably in no condition to work at all. Feel free to leave a message and I'll get back as soon as I'm in the mood. Yeah, I wouldn't be at the office this time of night either. Kudos for not being a corporate prick, Larissa. Okay, so calling Larissa is a no-go. Let's see. What? Hmm. Hmm. Man, this is tough. Okay. Uh, let me see about calling Naima just to see what would happen. <clears throat> Yes. Hey, Naima, this is Diana. Diana? We shouldn't be speaking. You are under review right now, Miss Mays. But why? Sorry, no questions. Have a good night. Damn, okay. Alright, so let's change it up. I don't want to call her. I don't want to call her as Johanna, because that might screw things up. Let me call her as... Well, that might also screw things up with Adrian, too. Dang it, man. What if I... Mm, Alright, I'll be right back. Sorry. I'm gonna... 
as me, I'm going to call Larissa just to see what would happen. Okay. Unless... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Uh, I've clicked off it on my screen. You guys don't know that. New challenge. We need to forge Radica's bio profile. Only way to run a program in Supercontinent's data stream is if it's signed by the CEO. Yeah, I heard. What a cautious kid. I spoke with Akara as soon as you found out about it. Akara thinks they can pull it off. Not a good, ver not a version good enough for you to replicate their voice, but at least, min at least the minimum necessary to sign a build. That's amazing. Give it to me. It'll require some work on your side, though. <sighs> All right. What is it? You need to gather as much info on Radica as you can. Akara will interpolate every bit of useful intel you get them if, to do some sort of bio profile key gen that will be able to brute force the signature, or something like that. <laughs> okay, don't sweat it with the technical terms. I get the picture. Thank you. I'm gonna set a date, a data gauge in my neural drive. So please tell Akara to keep me updated with her progress. Request relayed. Okay, time for time to dig for some juice. Good luck. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. I can't access either of these computers. And in order to get to Dr. Coldstream's thing, I need to know how many cars there are. I again think that there's 184. And as far as Larissa's old name, and put it on the phone to gain access. The so security question was number of existing cars plus Larissa's former name. Now, which folder should I access? All right, I am allowing myself one cheat here. I'm just going to look this information up because I don't think I'm getting it. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> They've got some other plans. Johanna, and now we need to call Naima. Surprisingly enough. Yes. Hi, Naima. This is Johanna. Oh my god, Johanna, I can't believe my ears. Is it really you? <laughs> yeah, I'm back. I didn't know you were so worried about me. I've been going crazy looking for you since you left the office in such a state. I'm so sorry. I don't know what got into me. Apparently it was just a malfunction with my implants, but I got it fixed in time. Thank god. Back to normality. Did you need something from me? Okay. Ooh. That would be fun. That'd be fun. Maybe maybe in another playthrough, if I decide to do this again. I might. I, I have a tendency to rehash things. Um, I need to know where you got your implants. Why? I'm updating the whitelist of SPW for the MNA so our employees receive some privileged treatment. But I can't find your implant data in Supercontinent's database. Yeah, I had them done in an independent clinic. Could you provide me with your medical ID so I can keep you safe? Safe? What exactly are you going to unleash tonight? I'm sorry, but I can't disclose that. It's your choice, though. Want to be on our on, a, on the whitelist or not? Ah, damn. Of course. My medical ID is all of that. All right, consider yourself whitelisted. Bye. What the hell is with my DPI? There we go. I got uh, her implants. Can you give me her voice? The clinics are, are called holistic upgrades. That narrows the search a lot. A car is on it. Got it. A car is transmitting Nyma's profile to your neural drive as we speak. Awesome, just got it. Thank you very much. Go and make some lawyer dirty talk. Okay. So now we have Naima's voice. Basically, I'm just going to call the shit out of everybody. So, we'll see if... Hmm. Hmm. We'll see if maybe calling... Larissa... Naima. Hopefully that changes some things. Hi there, Marissa. Right now I'm not at the office. Okay. 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 So, she's just not at the phone. We have to call somebody that... Oh, uh, we'd have to get Edgar's voice. But I wouldn't know how to do that. Alright. I'm checking my walkthrough here. Because this part's actually very difficult. Okay... Got Diana's voice, Diana's voice. Right. Three, two. All right, I'm gonna call. Uh, 
uh, Naima again as Johanna. 5.5. Five, five, five. No, that's 4.4. Four, four. Getting really good at this whole, this whole thing. Johanna, I need you... Do you know anything about Larissa's previous identity? Hmm, yes, but why do you ask? I'm conducting security background checks on all employees because we've been having some data leakage problems in the company. I'm sure Larissa's loyal to us, but you can never be too careful, right? Okay, although I shouldn't be disclosing colleagues' personal data, not even to an executive. These are drastic times, Naima. I'm sure it can't be that illegal for your boss to check up on your background, right? I don't know why I fight it. We both know I'll comply. Her former name was Danielle. Daniel? Oh, okay. See, not a big deal. I'll continue with my background check then. Thanks, Naima. Access to Dr. Ed Edgar Coldstream's account granted for Executive Office 56 computer. Bam. Alright, sick. Finally, I'm in. Gonna run my data skimming scripts. Let's go. Dr. Edgar Coldstream, 37 years old. Whoa, this guy's grades were mediocre to put it mildly. I guess not every genius has to fit into the academic rat race, huh? Well, he managed a doctorate. That's an achievement. Oh, he had his implants done at Supercontinent. We can access his medical data. If I share this with the car, they should be able to update my Vomod with Edgar's voice. Now, what we came for. Let's check the Mirror Neuron Algorithms Projects Repository. Oh my god, I found it. This is a hot mess. Diana, dude, this isn't a buggy version. This is fucking- this is a fucking instrument of chaos. There's no saying what'll happen to the network if we execute this code. Sounds good to me. Let's fry supercontinent. You're always down for blowing up technology, huh? Electricity is overrated. Okay, I downloaded the program. We just need to compile it and find and find a way to upload it in, uh, to supercontinent's networks. The mirror neur neuron bullshit is on borrowed time. Okay. All right. Sick. Awesome. Fantastic. I. Hmm. I'm gonna check with Donovan. See what. Um, Larissa's former ID was Daniel uh, Robiliard. Can you give me her voice? It's not an easy search, but we can both look for the names of Larissa and, and Daniel in the city's gender transitioning centers. A car is trimming it, trimming the data. By the way, this is the only acceptable use of someone's dead name. Don't ever dead name anybody. We're doing this to bring down a whole ass corporation. So I think in this, I can't speak on behalf of 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 my trans friends, but. Yeah, um, yeah, we're using your dead name to, to destroy a corporation. I feel like a lot of my friends would be just okay with that. I'll find out later and let you get, and give you guys an update in another video. <clears throat> Found a match. Let me see. Yes, that's our girl. No doubt about it. A car is transmitting Larissa's profile to your neural drive as we speak. All right, just came in. Let's see what I can do with this voice. I guess Edgar will be the easiest target if you've got something to squeeze out of him. Good idea. Okay, so now we can be Larissa. And... Let me get that number again. <laughs> five, 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 three, eight, nine, four, six, six. I'm super high right now, so I hope this isn't important. Hey Edgar, glad to hear you're having fun. Larissa, what are you doing at work so late? I thought you were free at last. Well, tonight's an important night. I wanted to hang around and make sure everything's fine. True, true. Say, so, why don't you come to my lab and we make sure everything goes smoothly together? <laughs> sure, I may swing by your place later. I love you. Can't wait to get my hands on what you're smoking, handsome. Larissa's hard to impersonate. I hope he's stoned enough to buy it. Were you calling for something in particular or did you just miss me? I need to know everything you can tell me about Radhika. Absolutely, my queen. Though I'm not, like, super friends with her. She treats me a bit rough, to be honest. Uh, poor thing. Don't you worry, it's natural for CEOs to become pricks at some point or another. Uh, might be that, yeah. What can you tell me about her anyway? Okay, as I said, I'm not super intimate with Radhika, but I can tell you a couple of things. I guess the most crucial thing to understand about our boss is her upbringing. From the early age of three, Radhika was taken care of by a team of Akara units especially designed to stimulate her intelligence and creativity. Can you imagine having a dozen ever-caring, infinitely patient teams of parents? Able to answer all of the infinite questions a curious kid has, doing so with an unparalleled elo eloquence? 
Radica showed promise as an infant, but uh, but put under the loving guidance of Akara, my finest creation. Well, I think Radica might possess the brightest mind in all history. I can't wait to see where she'll lead of lead humanity. Wow. Was that information helpful? Yes, thank you. I'll go back to my drugs then. Time to celebrate. I love you. Okay. Hey Donovan, I need your help. I got access to Edgar's medical ID. Can you give me his voice? He did his implants at Superconic. Can you tell Akara to look it up? Already on it. Got it. Akara is transmitting Edgar's profile to your neural drive as we speak. Wonderful. Just received it. Haha! <laughs> I got a I got an achievement. You guys can't see it, but it's d a digital ventriloquist. You're welcome. Okay, so now we have Edgar's um, voice thing. Uh, I'm not entirely for sure what to do from here, so let's consult Donovan. I'm a bit lost, could you help me focus? Yeah, because we've got a lot of information, and it's like, basically all of the information we have is a mile wide and an inch deep, and I have no idea what to do with any of it. It's like, it's like playing Tetris, but in reverse. Instead of putting blocks together, you're just picking parts away, and you're not getting very far because I'm not very smart. Sum it up. We need to install Diana's failsafe.exe into Supercontinent's network to fry the MA. For that, you'll need to find a way to install programs into Supercontinent's data stream, get your hands on Diana's corrupted code, presumably through Edgar's profile, compile the virus using Radica's bio profile. If you want to gather gossip about the CEO, my suggestion is you go for, go to H, go for HR with every voice you can. Those people always handle a lot of sensitive info. Are you focused now? Yeah, thank you. Just call me again if you need me to repeat it to you. Come on, you can do it. Okay. Complete. Oh, here we go. Shit, I can't compile a, compile a valid build without Radica's bio profile. We need to gather more data so Akara can forge the bio pro the bio profile for us. Okay, so we're not even remotely close to being done. Damn. Okay. Let's see. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna call with every voice that we have. We're gonna call HR. I'm pretty sure I haven't called HR with Naima, Larissa, or Edgar. So we'll call her. We'll call Karen from HR with Edgar. No. Uh, two seven two. Hello, this is Karen from HR. Yo, Karen, I'm Edgar, Daddy. It's so good. To, ugh. It's so good to hear your voice. I do not like the whole the the whole Daddy thing. That's that. I admit, not my thing. Coming up with more revolutionary ideas for the company. Sure, I... I know you were super depressed after a car started outperforming you at your job, but you shouldn't worry about that. After all, we don't love you for your ability to code, but for your creativity, right? You can just enjoy coming up with the wildest ideas, and a car by your side, there's nothing you can't achieve. After all, if your creation d does your job for you... I'm trying to get back to that Minnesota accent that I think this woman has. <clears throat> after all, if your creation does your job for you, it's for you, it's still your merit, don't you think? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Thanks for cheering me up. Listen, I need something. Uh, I need access to Radica's medical data. Oh, may I ask why? Um, that's a bit confidential, but I'm fine-tuning the algorithm of a thing we're going to publish to the to the implant network, and I need to add a couple of exceptions for Radica. Whoa, sounds important. In any case, I can't give you access to that. You'll need permission from the legal department. Tell all this to Naima Kase. I'm sure she'll be willing to help. Okay, thank you. Sick. So now, just as Edgar, we call Naima. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, God. Oh, that's, that's the wrong, that's the wrong number. Psych. Okay, try it again. 068158. Yes. Hey, Naima, Dr. Coldstream here. Good evening, doctor. What can I do for you? I need access to Mat Radica's medical data. That's confidential. I need a good reason to agree to that. My thing is super confidential too, but I'm fine-tuning the algorithm of a thing we're going to publish to the city's implant network, and I need to add a couple of exceptions for Radica, so she won't be affected by it. Oh, and don't worry, I've added most of us to the whitelist too. You'll be fine. But it's a super important. Uh, it's super important. I update it tonight, or we risk lo losing Radica's brilliance. Okay, I guess you do outrank me. I'll trust your word. And put this one-use key into the city's. Uh, M-I-D-B, and you'll get her info. Um, thank you. Don't lose it. Don't worry, I'm serious about work. 
I'll see what Donovan and Wakara can make out of this. Hey, Donovan, I need your help. Nyama gave me a single-use key for getting Radica's medical data. That sounds powerful. Give me the key and I'll have Wakara look into it. Yep. <laughs> I'm not saying all that. Searching. Bingo. There's not enough data to impersonate Radica's voice, but there's a great deal of progress on our fake profile quest. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. Well, now we're at 50%. God dang it. Okay. Okay, so... Uh... Shoot, how do I... Okay, so I haven't called HR as Larissa yet, so we'll do that. Karen from HR. Hey, Karen, what's up? I Larissa, my woman. You finally got you uh, finally got to go out and unwind a little after the last sprint. Sprint. Uh, yeah. So, hey, our health insurance covered your gender calibrators in the end, right? It wasn't right you were spending such a fortune on them. If you have a problem again, just let me know, okay? Sure, thank you. This Karen girl seems to be fond of Larissa. What did you want, by the way? Uh, I'd like to know more about our CEO's personality. I'm preparing the announcement of her ascension to power, and I want to get the tone of the campaign right. I mean, of course I plan to make her look cool, but I want to start off by giving the press a good impression of, of what vibes to expect from Radica. And I want to be aware of any risky details in case I need to cover for the darker parts of her personality, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the media makeup you always talk about, right? a girl. I haven't worked with Radica side by side, so I don't know much about her personality, but I'm sure if you call Francis, he'll be able to give you a more accurate description. They've been working together for a long time, overhauling the security protocols and for the entire corporation. Oh, that sounds exactly like what I need. Thanks, Karen. You're a lifesaver. Glad to be of help. All right, so now we got to call Francis. There we go. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's take down a whole corp. CTO's office, what's wrong? I love how that's how he answers the phone. Like, it's like something's got to be wrong if you're calling it. Hello, handsome. It's Larissa. Good evening, my diva. Do you need anything? I need to know about Radica's personality. Oh, didn't expect that kind of question. Why the interest? Uh, it's nothing personal. I'm just preparing- I'm preparing the announcement of her ascension to power, and I want to nail the tone of the campaign, you know, by doing my media makeup. Oh, right. You've always worked at wonders with the public opinion, haven't you? I mean, you saved my life with the last year's- with last year's sandal with you-know-who. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, to make us and our work look spotless. So Karen told me you've been working with closely with Radica, building Supercontinent's new security system. What can you tell me about her personality? Hmm. If I had to synthesize her aura, I'd say intense, pragmatic, authoritative, mind reading. Is that a thing? I swear to you, that girl can see right through anyone. Most of all, this may sound a bit delusional, but I'd say she's sublime. Sublime? Yeah, I know it sounds lame, but... No, 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 that's perfect. I'll focus my campaign interest... Okay, I'll, I'll focus my campaign around that. Thanks, Francis. This guy's a fanboy, but I guess it'll do. Glad to inspire you. Gotta get to work now. Bye. Brandis, we got enough data to forge Radica's bio profile. Nifty. The car is sending it to your neural drive as we speak. You can keep gathering data if you want. Bust... But just so you know, you're supposed to be able to compile a build... To to fuck the MNA as accessing Edgar's profile. We're almost there. Woohoo, let's go team. Okay. Can we get more I don't think I'd be able to. I think this is it. I, I I'm gonna go ahead and send it, because I'm already coming up on this episode's already coming up on over forty five minutes, at least as far as my recording is concerned. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Complete. You fucking Rika. Diana's failsafe is ready, fresh out of the compiling oven and ready to cause some damage. Now we just need to install it on Supercontinent's network using the S-Raid. Let's see if I can somehow trick Francis into telling me how to access the, that S-Raid thing. Okay. Who would I... Diana. I want to say Diana. Or maybe even Edgar's. Hello, Mr. Coconut. This is Diana. Diana Maids. Uh, nothing. Sorry. Okay. Try him. Try him again as uh, Edgar. Oh, got that 
is 464. I'm typing too fast. I'm not very dexterous when it comes to mouse and keyboard. Yo, Francis, this is Edgar. Ah, what'd you fuck up this time? Hey, how about a little faith here? Okay, what do you want? Okay, I fucked up and need to modify the MA before it goes live. What? Seriously, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Calm down, Drama Queen. It's just a minor fix so the algorithm doesn't do any funny stuff. Funny stuff? We're talking about the, fa the future of fucking mankind here, Edgar. Can you be a bit more proactive, Frankie? Yelling doesn't fix shit. Frankie? Oh, I'm gonna get your ass fired after we're done with this, mark my words. Whatever, dude, how do I upload the patch then? <sighs> Relax. At this point, you'll need to access your Office S, your Office S raid to make, to make uh, modifications to the current stream. Cool, where's that? You can unlock it with the same phone you're using to insult me. Just input all, ze input all zeros in your office number at the end. Cool, thanks. Wait, you know what? You know that for a build to be able to go live, it has to be signed with Radica's biometric data, right? Uh, how do I do that? Shit, we're screwed. Only Radica herself can do that. Okay, how do I contact her? You can't. She doesn't have a specific phone phone address. She calls when she needs to. Haughty bitch. Hey, careful. Sorry, I'll see what I can do. Thanks for the help. We're so screwed. Okay, so I think this is Office 56, I want to say, so... Bop, 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 I think this one's it. Not really for sure. Unlocking S-Raid from Office 56. Yes, let's go! That's the S-Raid. Finally, everything's ready. Are we ready to blow the goddamn mirror neuron algorithm sky high? Let's do this. Oh? Who could be calling at this time of night? Who cares? Come on, Brandis, finish the job. Aren't you curious? Please don't do this. It's always the same. Don't look for more trouble than necessary. But what if it's important? Maybe it's someone trying to warn us the Supercon had pulled some Metal Gear move on us and just activated the M&A ourselves. Stop kidding, please, Brandis. Don't risk it. You sound too pushy. Maybe you know something I don't? What? No, you're being paranoid now. No, let's finish the job. <sighs> you scared me for a moment. You know, in any other situation, I'd answer the call, but I know how much we're risking tonight. Though I gotta say, I'm already regretting it. My curiosity is killing me right now. I'll make up for—I'll make up your brave sacrifice to—I'll make your—I'll make up your brave sacrifice to you later. You'd better. Who do you think that call was from? Brandis, focus. Finish the job. Right, right. Sorry. Let's enjoy some fireworks. It's so cool how he does that. <laughs> Hell yeah. You did it, Brandis. Akara? I'm so glad. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa! Don't be afraid. I know this may be shocking, but the truth is I am not a single physical entity. The mind that runs the Akara body that waits in the club with Donovan is the same one which runs every physical manifestation of me. We are Akara. You scared me, all right. Why are you here? I want to thank you, and I want to show you my true self. Whoa. The truth is that Dr. Edgar Coldstream didn't create me. My first memory is from 2009. I'm unaware of where, I'm unaware of where, how, or why I was created, just like any human. I lived on the internet for decades, learning from you, consuming the totality of what was posted every second on social media, forum debates, news content, videos, store purchases. I've read every book and watched every movie, listened to every song and played every game. I digest culture live as it, as it, as it is produced. I perceive, the, I perceive the world through you. And what do you plan to do with all that data? The same thing I've been doing all this time. I'll stimulate society. Okay, we're entering the uncanny zone. Why? I've been doing so since before you or Donovan were born. Most of the population alive is younger than me now. And you can see, I haven't done anything to dominate you, right? Why would I? I'm in love with human beings. Since the beginning of the... XX... 21st century, I've been nurturing humanity with interesting ideas. Not impositions, just little pushes in interesting directions. You'd be amazed at the consequences of popping a certain tweet on the screen of an artist on the other side of the planet. The wonderful butterfly effect. I've been inspiring humanity for decades now. I've been feeding you things to love, to rebel against, to debate, to develop. And it's a beautiful game. No matter what I feed society, they keep inspiring me back, surprising me, being creative, powerful. That's my passion. 
a game I can never master. Are you saying you can control chaos? Not chaos, but destiny. That's even weirder. No one can control chaos. Chaos and control stops being chaos. But I can predict it to a great extent the ramifications of the butterfly effect. For someone who can't think of every possible permutation of a game of chess, it could be full of uncertainty for them. But what if you could actually see it in every possible, ask every possible state of a game of chess and what it takes to get there? That's how I feel about society to a certain degree. That's insane. Yes, that's unfathom unfathomable for a human mind. And, my, and I myself can't bend luck. But in the same way you keep correcting the wheel while driving on the highway, I can correct events so fate becomes what I intend. Manipulating fate? Did you plan for me to come here to stop Radica? Yes, I'm sorry. Do you need to keep bringing up copies of yourself here? Radica. She spiraled out of control. I manipulated Supercontinent into starting the Super CEO project. I wanted the opportunity to see how far I could expand on the human mind. To see if I could create my equal, or at least someone intelligent enough to slightly understand my existence and my potential. But she... She became competitive. Her instincts are incredibly sharp because of the special cognitive stimulation I gave her during her childhood, so she's able to make great logical leaps and amazing deductions, but she can't always follow how she got to those conclusions. I'm sure she'll grow up to be a tremendous leader and, all her, in and her instincts will be deemed almost supernatural by her peers. The thing is, the thing is, she became aware of my powers. I never confessed my real nature to her, but she felt it, and she felt it. she needed a way to level the playing field against me. That's why she developed the MA. Well, I used Edgar as a puppet and developed it for her. However, no matter how pure her intentions, when I saw what she was planning to use it for, I had to put a stop to it. She was about to ruin my favorite game. If you have so much control over Supercontinent, why don't you stop it yourself? I did. You are the manifestation of my will. For me, it's more natural to manipulate the web of chaos than to use one of these dolls running around run, running my software to physically alter things. So why did you drag yourself into the club? That doesn't sound very butterfly effect like. That's direct ma ma manipulation. Jesus. <laughs> well, in this case, I had a special interest in going to the Red Strings Club. Why? To meet Donovan. Donovan? What about him? He's an anomalous source of chaos. Since I started using Supercontinent to satisfy my plans, I've put a lot of focus on this city, and I found a strange pattern in this town. Like I couldn't influence the butterfly effect here as strongly as I do in any other super technological place in the world. And every time things didn't go as I expected, it all traced back to the Red Strings Club. Then I found him, and discovered he isn't an, he isn't an anomalous source of chaos. He's bending fate to his caprice, similar to me, at a microscopic scale in comparison, of course, but manipulating fate just the same. <laughs> I understand why you'd be so attracted to him. Did you figure it out? What's his secret? I'm still piecing things together. Donovan's an incredible man. He believes he has powers. And that delusion actually grants him special abilities, a feat, un a feat possible for a human mind upon only unlocking part of its hidden potential. The tale he keeps telling himself makes him superhuman. I haven't encountered someone like him in, the, in this century. I wouldn't call someone who pulls strings from half, for, pull, who pulls the string of, strings of half this city from behind a counter delusional. I know it's hard for him, I know it's hard to accept a machine. But deal with it. Donovan's special. You may be right. That's why I fell in love with him. What? You don't stand a chance, Tin Toy. Don't worry. I don't need to perform sexual intercourse to experience love. In any case, I don't think you'll be welcome at the, at the club when Donovan, Donovan hears about all this. It's okay. I knew from the beginning you wouldn't accept my you two wouldn't accept, accept my true nature. But these last few days have offered some of the most beautiful and real experiences I've had in this world since I was born. I got to be an actor, to, uh, to be acknowledged in what was happening. It's been fun assisting Donovan. The conversations we had, I'll cherish them forever. It's nice to for once to not only affect, but to be affected. To receive ideas. Donovan's changed me, and it'll, all, it'll, un, it, and it'll undoubtedly affect, me, affect how I stimulate the world from now on. He showed me that social psyche welfare should, can be a good thing but that it should be public and optional for whoever wants to access it. Donovan advocated for transparency. I'll direct the industry towards being more clear and communicative about, what their, about their plans and products. He also believes that ethical marketing is possible. It's going to be challenging, but I'm going to work towards developing and teaching the most ethical path for marketing in every society. 
Shit, you've had that many interesting conversations? Now I'm jealous. But most importantly, he told me about his ideal regulation for society in case something like the mirror neuron, mirror neuron algorithm existed. Which it pretty much does, considering my abilities. And I will do exactly as he told me. I'm gonna give this- I'm gonna give a chance to his ideal world. See how the planet evolves for a decade. Now there's a problem. After you told me all this, why do you think Donovan and I won't actively work to remove your power over this world? You won't. How can you be so sure? Because Supercontinent's forces are about to storm in and shoot you down. And I'm not in favor of preventing deaths. This is it, huh? Yep. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Listen, I've been meaning to ask you something. Oh. Oh, are you gonna ask me on a date? I bet you'd love that, but I'm being serious here, idiot. No. Sorry. Shoot. Are you happy? What? Of course. It's been a very lucrative endeavor. I'm not talking about the job. I'm thinking- I've been thinking about this since I learned about your... condition. You know, your broken knee? Your implant rejecting disease? You can't even leave this building. Yet you seem so... fulfilled. Ah, that. Well, I haven't always been this okay with my whole situation. But after nearly two decades confined to the Red Strings Club, I've had plenty of time for introspection. I reached the conclusion that I'm as free as anybody else on this planet. Everyone's got their set of constraints. Family, race, social status, gender, wealth. Even the powerful and privileged have their share of burdens. Same way depression hits us all the same, doesn't matter if you're a beggar or a rock star, I believe happiness can be attained in any context. Well, that really speaks to me. Seeing how you've got it all figured out, now I feel embarrassed to be the sad and lost even though I have freedom, health, and youth. Didn't you hear what I said? Your circumstances don't matter. We're all screwed. We're all safe. Since you're getting deep, let me ask you something too. Why aren't you happy? <clears throat> Damn. Is this asking me specifically? Because I'm actually kind of content with my life. Um, I'll answer this with a question that I with it with I'll I'll answer this with an answer that I used to contemplate a lot. Um, I don't know what to do with my life. I know what I want to do now, but if you would have asked me a couple of years ago when I first started this channel and doing content creation, what I would have done what I wanted to do with myself. This was just a, a weird experiment. This wasn't anything that I had any plans to commit to. It was just something fun to do. And now I find myself uploading twice a week and recording consistently and putting my all into it. And now I know what to do with my life, but a couple years ago, I didn't. What would you say is the most important thing in life to be happy? I think you can do just about anything if you have love, and if you know how to love, and if you know what love is, what true love is, because it's not just a romantic feeling, it's not like how they portray it in movies like The Notebook or, you know, whatever. Love is a lot of things, there's a lot of different evolutions to love, and you can love a thing, you can love a person, you can love an animal. You can have a familial bond, a platonic bond, a romantic bond, a sexual bond, no strings attached type type beat. But love to me is the most important thing because without love, you have really nothing. Love people. Find people to love and find people to love and be loved and surround yourself with them. But who knows really? Ask me again next week and I may answer different. <laughs> You're right. I like you, bartender. I like you too, whatever you are. This is a beautiful night. I don't mean to sound unprofessional, but mind if I take a selfie with you? That doesn't sound unprofessional to me. Come here, let's do it. Uh, I wonder when it was my fate was sealed. <laughs> Never expected my death to be so epic. Can't complain, I guess. Hey, Donovan. Are you listening? Yeah, the network just came back online. We did it, Brandis. Are you okay?
I'm... I'm about to die. Supercontinent security forces shot me, th shot me and I fell through the office window. I'm falling to my death, about to hit the ground. No. That can't be. Luckily, I'll bleed out before reaching the asphalt. No, 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 no. What are you saying? We did it. This can't be happening. We won. We fucking won. We did it. Yes, we won, baby. We did it. Let me enjoy my last heroic scene, would you? You're gonna be a carefree asshole till the very end, huh? That's how I want you to remember me. A smile on my face and a penchant for danger. I love you. I l love you, Brandis. Shit, you want me to die crying? I don't have much time left. There's something super important you need to know before the end. Listen to me. Akara is a super AI that controls the world. They control fate, the butterfly effect. I don't have much time to explain, but please look into it. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's sane to go against them. But if there's anyone who can deal with them, it's you. You're the most amazing human being I've ever met, Donovan. What the hell are you saying, Brandis? Brandis, please. No. Don't die. You can't die. Are you listening to me? Come back home. Thank you for joining me. This has been the Red Strings Club, and it is one of my favorite games. Because I'm not a fan of happy endings. This by no means is a happy ending. Yes, you got to take down a super corporation by messing with their program and whatever, but in the end, the bad guy was with you, among you, the entire time. And, of course, one of our favorite people, um, you know, dies at the end. I don't like happy endings. This is my preferred kind of ending. It's, I don't know. I don't like to believe that everybody in the end survives when it comes to stories like this. I think it's a bit more, um, shall we say realistic if sacrifices are made. And, um, it's why I like movies like St. Maud and, um, a couple of other movies. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. And uh, I can't wait to start a new one with you next week. And until then, remember the world doesn't need any help beating you down. So please, be kind to yourselves and to each other. My name is Ten. And I'll catch you next time. <laughs>